Tonsil Cancer Causes and Treatment Tonsil cancer is a type of oropharyngeal cancer. This cancers affect the mouth and throat. Oral and oropharyngeal cancers such as tonsil cancer fall under the broader category of head and neck cancers. Infection with human papilloma virus HPV seems to increase the risk and affect the prognosis of tonsil cancer. According to the National Institutes of Health, the number of tonsil cancer cases appears to be rising, possibly due to an increase in human papilloma virus infections. The National Institutes of Health note that up to 93% of people in Western Europe with newly diagnosed throat and mouth cancers also tested positive for human papilloma virus. The tonsils are part of the human immune system. They help defend the body against bacteria and viruses that enter the mouth and throat. Like other cancers, tonsil cancer is more likely to respond to treatment that starts early. Getting a diagnosis at an early stage increases the chance of successful treatment and recovery. What is tonsil cancer? Tonsil cancer begins when cancerous cells develop in the tonsils. It can occur in people who have had their tonsils removed, as some tonsil tissue often remains after surgery. Most tonsil cancers are squamous cell carcinomas, but some are lymphomas. Drinking alcohol, smoking and having human papilloma virus appear to increase the risk. The tonsils sit toward the back of the throat, one on either side. They consist of lymphoid tissue, which contains lymphocytes, cells that fight off disease. The tonsils catch and destroy bacteria and viruses. They can change in size and often swell with blood to help trap germs, such as when a person has a cold. Throat cancer is another type of oropharyngeal cancer. Symptoms Some people do not notice any symptoms until tonsil cancer has started to spread. When symptoms occur, they can resemble those of other illnesses such as strep throat or tonsillitis. Here are some symptoms that may indicate tonsil cancer. A sore throat that lasts longer for a long time. Difficulty chewing or swallowing. A white or red patch on the tonsil. A sore on the back of the throat. A persistent earache. Difficulty consuming citric foods and drinks such as orange juice. A lump in the neck or throat. Unexplained weight loss. Blood in the saliva. See a doctor if any of these symptoms last for more than two weeks. Causes and Risk Factors A number of factors appear to increase the risk of tonsil cancer. According to the American Head and Neck Society, risk factors include environmental factors. This include using tobacco products and having a high alcohol intake, viruses, People with HPV or human papilloma virus or HIV may have a higher risk of tonsil cancer. Age and sex. In the past, people who received a tonsil cancer diagnosis tended to be male and over 50 years of age. However, the relationship between age and tonsil cancer can vary based on human papilloma virus status. Human papillomavirus positive cancers tend to appear in people with the infection who are younger and do not smoke. Stages The stages of tonsil cancer are Stage 0 Changes have occurred in cells that increase their risk of becoming cancerous. These are precancerous cells but they are not cancer. They have not 
spread localized there are cancerous cells in the tonsils but they have not spread the tumor is smaller, smaller than 2 cm in diameter at this stage which is also called stage 1 regional the cancer has spread to nearby tissues the tumor is larger than 2 cm and may be more than 4 cm across it may also have spread to a nearby lymph node or the epiglottis distant the cancer has spread to other structures such as the mouth or jaw bone as it progresses it will affect other parts of the body such as the lungs and liver treatment treatment for tonsil cancer depends on the stage type and extent of the cancer surgery a surgeon usually removes the precancerous cells or tumor they may need to remove the tonsils and additional tissue around the tumor to reduce the risk of leaving cancerous tissue behind depending on the extent of the treatment a person may need further surgery to restore their teeth as well as their voice and other functions radiation therapy a doctor may recommend this to shrink a tumor before surgery or to help kill any remaining cancerous cells after the operation radiation therapy can stop the growth of a tumor or destroy cancerous cells chemotherapy this uses powerful medication to kill cancerous cells slow their spread or shrink the size of a tumor to make it easier to remove a person may need chemotherapy alongside radiation therapy for cancers of the mouth and throat chemotherapy kills cancerous cells but it also damages healthy cells for this reason it can have severe adverse effects if diagnosis occurs at a later stage a doctor may recommend a combination combination of chemotherapy and radiation therapy without extensive surgery complications depending on the extent of the procedure surgery in the mouth and throat can cause a number of complications organs in this region are responsible for key functions including breathing digestion and speech a person may need help to perform these functions after treatment they may need a feeding tube to supply nutrition a trache tracheotomy which involves making a roll a hole in the front of the throat to enable a person to breathe dental implants jaw reconstruction aesthetic surgery speech and language therapy dietary and other counseling palliative care a person with advanced cancer will need additional support if removing the cancer is not an option and the cancer has spread to other parts of the body a person will receive palliative care treatment at this stage will focus on relieving symptoms and improving the person's quality of life it will involve pain relief medication counseling and other types of support may also be available prevention some risk factors for tonsil cancer are avoidable people can lower their risk by quitting or avoiding smoking and tobacco use limiting their alcohol intake having a vaccination to protect them from human papilloma virus tonsil cancer is relatively rare and living with a rare form of cancer can be challenging understanding what is happening and what to expect from treatment can make the process easier doctors use 
statistics to calculate the average chance that a person will survive for five or more years after a diagnosis of cancer. For tonsil cancer, the survival rate appears to depend on the person's human papillomavirus status. Accordingly, one study determined the following overall five-year survival rates of four people with tonsil cancer. 71% for people with human papillomavirus positive cancer. 36% for people with human papillomavirus negative cancer. However, smokers appear to have a worse prognosis than non-smokers, regardless of their human papillomavirus status. Other factors that impact the outlook including the type of tumor the person's age, other health conditions. Anyone who notices persistent swelling or other changes in or around their tonsils should see a doctor. Finding cancer in its early stages often means that it is easier to treat. This improves, improves the chances of recovery.